In this video, we're going over some hidden features on the new Alcatel Joy tablet. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. In this video, again, we're going over some hidden features on the Alcatel Joy tablet. Now we're going to start with a really simple one and it's going to the settings menu, going to display, going to advanced, and then turning on double tap screen. And basically what this feature is, is when your screen is off, instead of having to press the power button to turn it back on, you can simply just tap the screen twice and it'll automatically wake up the screen and then you can just swipe to unlock it. It makes it easier so you don't have to pick up the tablet. You can just, again, easily just tap it twice and wake it up. Our next little hidden feature is we're gonna show you how to use split screen and how to run two apps at one time. So for this demonstration, I'm going to have Google Chrome open. So we're gonna open the first app that we want to have in our split screen. And then we're gonna tap the menu button and then tap on the icon right above the app. So the Chrome icon and tap split screen. And then I'm gonna find the second app that I wanna open and I don't see it here. So I'm, oh, here it is. So I'm gonna go to YouTube. Now normally when you do this, let me take a step back here. You wanna open up the two apps that you want to have in split screen first. So you would open up Chrome, close it, and then open up YouTube. Once it's open, then you're gonna close it. Now the app you want to be at the top of the screen, you're gonna open that one now. So I'm gonna open up YouTube. And once again, menu, or the recent apps button here, tap on the YouTube icon, hit split screen, and then find the second app you want to have open, which is Google Chrome. And now I have both apps open in split screen. At this point, I can select a video to play and a lot of people like to use split screen specifically for watching videos and doing something else so i'm going to tap on one of my videos and turn the volume down so it won't be loud so this video right here i'm going to let it play at the top and then at the bottom here i will be able to continue to browse the tablet so i have google chrome down here and i'm on amazon looking up some things so this is really cool just to be able to have that video playing at the top while you're using the tablet to do other things. You can also take it and rotate it and it will work in the landscape position too, just like that. Probably works a little bit better in the landscape position. And when you're finished, you can just simply take your finger in the center of the screen where there's a little white bar and drag it all the way to the right. And that will take you out of split screen and into full screen. Now, since we're in this section, I'm gonna show you something else really cool. And if you're someone who uses a lot of Android products, you may already know about this, but it's basically a pop-out video function for YouTube. So maybe you don't wanna have YouTube all the way at the top of the screen. There's another option of what, how you can have a video playing and still do other things on the tablet. So uh, I'm gonna play the video first. And then I'm gonna hit the home button at the bottom right here. And it will keep the video open in a pop-up window that I can then drag anywhere on the screen. And now I can open up something else. For example, Google Chrome. And let's just go to another website. So I'll type in ESPN.com. Let's move that down here. So while I'm searching the web, I can still have my video playing. And again, I have it muted just for the sake of the video so you can't hear it. But I can drag that, that video anywhere in the four corners of the screen and still use the tablet to do other things. So this is just a cool way to multitask and really take advantage of that full screen and enjoy watching movies at the same time. When you're done with that video, just tap it and hit the X in the upper right corner and that will close out the video and we're out of split screen and out of our pop-up or pop-out video. 
Now our next tip is going to be um, how to make calls and send text messages through your Joy tablet. Now, some of you guys may have purchased this tablet from T-Mobile or Metro and they'll have like an unlimited plan where you have all this internet, but you can't necessarily make calls because it's not really made to do that or the plan is not made to do that. However, if you download the app Google Voice, this is the icon right here. If you go to the Play Store and just type in Google Voice, and I'll demonstrate for the sake of the video. So just type in Google Voice. This is the app right here. And this is a really awesome app that a lot of people don't know about. And essentially what it does is it gives you a phone number that will allow you to make calls and send text messages through this app as long as you have the internet. It's very similar to a WhatsApp, but it's a full-fledged phone number. It's not a social network like WhatsApp is. It's just a straight phone number that you can use to make calls, receive calls, and send text messages. So by downloading this app, you will be able to get a phone number and send text messages back and forth with anybody and everybody. All you have to do is sign in to, you, to your Google account. Once you sign your Google account, this is the setup right here and I'm gonna show you really quickly, it's super fast. I actually use Google Voice for business um, reasons as well. So on my personal Android phone, I have this app installed and I'm able to receive calls from, calls from different phone numbers. So I have two phone numbers on my main phone because of the Google Voice app, because this will allow you to, again, um, receive calls because you're gonna get another dedicated phone number. So um, we're gonna hit search, and you can put in uh, basically an area. So I'm gonna put in Torrance, and say I want a Torrance phone number or a Torrance zip code, and I'll hit select. So I'll just pick that number right there. You selected this number, hit accept. I can then link that number with this device. So hit next again. So the Google Voice app, um, there is one little tricky step. Now what I would encourage you guys to do to make this work is to set this up first on your smartphone. So if you have just, again, a regular smartphone, download the Google Voice app, set it up, get a phone number, because there's a, a final step where you have to link it to a device and you will have to have Google text you a, a code to put in to verify your account. Once you do that verification step, you can then go to the tablet, sign into your Gmail, and you can get your Google Voice to then work on your tablet. So you will need a smartphone to do the initial setup. And once the initial setup is done and your phone number is linked, you can then sign into your Google Voice number on the tablet and then receive calls and text messages right from your tablet. So that is a cool step. We will work on a separate video that gives you the full process of how to get that set up so then you can make full calls and texts from your Joy tablet. Let's go ahead and move on. Our next hidden feature is gonna be how to uh, change your lock screen shortcuts. So on the lock screen, at the bottom here, you have these shortcuts. You can actually change these different apps if you want different shortcuts at the bottom of your tablet. Now, let me show you how this works. So we're gonna swipe up, go to settings. We're gonna go to advanced features, function shortcuts. And these are the five shortcuts that were on the lock screen. So maybe you don't use the uh, play music. You can delete that and just simply add a new one. Let's see, we can also delete, take a selfie, because I'm gonna show you a different shortcut for that. Now we'll swipe down to the bottom here and tap add app shortcut. And you can have a shortcut to a different app. So maybe you say, I want a shortcut to Hulu because I watch videos a lot. Now Hulu is there. And I'm gonna add one more shortcut to YouTube, for example, because maybe you wanna have that. So now I can have Chrome, Gmail, Compose a Message, Hulu, or YouTube as a shortcut. And then when I turn this off, 
turn the tablet back on. These are my new shortcuts at the bottom of the screen here. And I can just simply tap Hulu from here or swipe from there and it should take me right to that app. So here are my shortcuts right here. So now I'm just going to tap on Hulu. You actually tap it twice and that'll automatically take you into that app. Let me show you one more time. So here is our lock screen and these are our shortcuts now. So if I want to go to YouTube, for example, I can just tap it twice and it'll automatically unlock the tablet and take me right into that app. If you do have a password on the tablet, it will have you put that in first and then it'll take you right to that app uh, right after. All right, our next little hidden feature is gonna be how to launch your camera quickly from any screen. Let's say your tablet is off and you see something you wanna get a picture of quickly, just hit the power button twice. It'll automatically wake up the tablet and take you right to the camera. Again, power button twice, wakes up, takes you right to the camera. And I believe this works if I'm in another app as well. Let's say I'm in, again, Google Music. Hit it twice, and again, it takes me, it should take you right to the camera. There we go, just like that. So that is a quick launch camera shortcut, and it's just hitting the power button twice, and boom, your camera will open that quick. Now, our last uh, little hidden feature is going to be in the camera. We're gonna show you a couple of cool things you can do in the camera that you may not have known about. So. The first thing is, if you hit the more button in the camera, you have different uh, filter and camera modes. So time lapse, light trace, panoramic picture, filters. And then if we go back, obviously we have our button here to take pictures. But if you hold down on the shutter button, it'll actually take up to 20 pictures at one time which is really great because normally if you just try to get that perfect shot and you only take one picture, you're probably not gonna get it. So by holding down on that, you can take a bunch of pictures ensuring that at least one of them is gonna be a good shot. So that's just a little trick with the camera shutter. The last thing I wanna show you is a feature that will help your eyes when using the tablet at nighttime. So if we go to the settings, go back to display, and we go to night light. You're gonna turn this on. And for the schedule, I would tap on here and I would have it come on at a set time. So for example, you can have it turn on from the sunset to sunrise. Night light tints your screen amber. This makes it easier to look at your screen or read in dim light. So this is a great feature that's just gonna make it easier on your eyes when looking at the tablet at nighttime. And that's it guys. This has been our hidden features on the Alcatel Joy tablet. Hope you did find this helpful. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what hidden feature was your favorite. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, like, favorite, and share the video. Take care and have a good one.